Hi, Nicola Askham here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. Now, for today's question, I'm actually going to break down a question that somebody sent me in. Now, they emailed to ask whether, uh, when you're setting up a data office, whether you actually need senior leadership support. And I am definitely going to answer that next time. But the use of the term data office got me interested in thinking because it isn't a term that a huge number of people use, but those people that use it um, obviously understand it. And, and then I thought perhaps it's a term that other people don't understand and, and perhaps maybe worrying because they don't have one and whether they should have one. So on this occasion, I want to look at what is a data office? Now, a data office, in my opinion, is just another term for having a central team that looks after data governance. So the vast majority of clients that I've worked with over the years would probably call this a data governance team or a data quality team. But I do know a, a number of organizations would call that a data office. Now, often in my experience, a data office has perhaps a scope that's maybe a little wider than a, a traditional data governance team, but they are the team that is supporting data governance. And maybe in addition, data quality, master data management, they may have a wider remit than that. So it is, um, you know, perhaps a term that is not a direct comparison to a data governance team, but it's very similar. So if you have a central data governance team and you hear people talking about a data office, you're not lacking in something. As long as you've got central support for your data governance framework, it doesn't really matter what you call it. But I find it really, really interesting that this is a good example of things that we do an awful lot as data governance professionals. Now, we spend the majority of our days talking to business users um, and asking them to make up definitions for the data that they use. But at the same time, we use terminology that we don't always define, or perhaps we use terminology that we perhaps don't use consistently. And I think this is something that we definitely need to improve upon. So if you have a data office, fabulous. Make sure you explain what that means when you're sharing it with the business. And if you have a data governance team, likewise, you need to explain what that means to the business and use that definition consistently. So I hope that has helped. Next time, I will look at whether a data office needs senior leadership support. And in the meantime, if you have found this useful, please help me get my message out there and help as many people as possible be successful with data governance by liking, commenting and sharing this video on your choice of social media channel. So if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer in future um, episodes, please just email them into questions at nicolarascom.com.